Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. This is Editor Garage, and today we're gonna work on a pocket door. Now, I'm gonna show you what I've done. This is your typical pocket door. I typically insulate them, so they're a little bit more sound deadening. It doesn't really help that much, but I've left this unfinished for years, as you can tell, and you probably even know if you've been here long enough. You see across here, it's somewhat level, and you'll see that this is a little bit thinner, and it's a little bit thicker. The reason for that is what I've done, and I'll stand back. This is its open resting position. Now I'm gonna step back, and you'll notice that it's self-closing. It's slow, but it self-closes. The problem is, that's what happens. Now, to combat that, I actually found uh, self-closing mechanisms which I think are awesome. You might be wondering how the self-closing mechanism works. Quite easy. You just lower this down. Sorry, I'll start from the beginning. You put some washers behind the, uh, the screw there and here. I didn't do any there. And because this is coming down, it actually ramps down. Now, what I said at the beginning there is you tighten this so you effectively you're gonna raise sorry yeah you're gonna raise this side up and the reason why you're doing that is because the door would be off level so it would look more like this when closed see the gap there that's what you would have but because I raised the front part of the door you don't have that gap anymore And because I lowered the track here, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the door self-closes. That's why, since this is lowered, this piece here will be uh, wider and then this side over here, which is inconsequential, because once I put the finishing trim up here, you won't even know it's there. Typically, your pocket doors will go like this and they're not self-clothing. So I can leave this one alone and it doesn't do anything. The other part of this, with the one I was talking about earlier in the video, is um, I got some mechanisms that will soft close and hold the door open as needed. We're gonna get to installing those right now. So these are the mechanisms, there's two of them. You're gonna need one of them for the soft close and then the one of them for the soft opening. Um, if you just want it to soft close, as in when the door comes across, it closes nice and easy. You just have to buy that one. And then when you when you open the door, it'll stay in position. On a normal door, you don't have to have the uh, the self closing. And not, I don't want to commit. Uh, I always mix up my words, so I just want to make sure that uh, you know that I'm talking about the soft close and then the uh, self closing. Two different things. So. When you change the track, like I was saying, you have to make it self-closing. By adding these, and I was told they won't work with my application because mine's a cheap Home Depot door. Um, and these are expensive Johnson self, soft, sorry, self, I'm even mixing it up. Uh, soft closing hangers. So part of this whole mechanism, if it will, it's all tangled up there. All right, so this, goes into your onto your pocket door. Typically on your cheaper hardware you'll have the non-bearing. This is a version where you, you don't need it, like a part of it that you don't need that have the bearings as in over here. The heavier doors that are solid core doors that are sound deadening, you need the bearings. Anything that's bigger than 80 inches I recommend bearings. Actually I would recommend them period but if you just want the cheap hardware that'll save you a few bucks you'll get something that looks like this which is what you will see at the top of that door. Just cheap stuff. They're all pretty well designed the same, so I just have to remove the door, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, it's just unclipping this, then you unhook it from here, and the door pops down, you take the door out, and uh, that's it. Now these on Amazon are $75 each, so you're, you're looking at $150 in hardware right here from Amazon. Um, that's a lot, very expensive, but when you don't hear the door slam and you stay asleep, it's the, the, the expense is um, amazing. And getting good sleep these days is hard to do. 
So I'm gonna remove the door right now. So before I get into actually removing the door, you use this tool here, you fit it up in there. Sometimes it's hard to get past the trim if you have that installed and you either turn it one way to raise it or turn it one way to loosen it. And then you just adjust the door accordingly so you have a nice flush mounted door. So in order to remove the door, you have to undo these two fasteners. Typically what I'll do is I'll undo the rear one first, which would be on the other side of the door. Just right there. Simply just hold the door. It's a little hard to do with one hand. So in order to remove the hanger, you just take a prying tool, could be anything, pull here, push that, and there you go. Sometimes it can be difficult. That one was extremely easy. And this one here. That one wasn't even locked in. Okay, I did push it from the other side, so maybe that's what did it. The next thing you do is you lift up on the door. This is a two-handed job. Here, I'm lifting up the door and moving the fasteners out of the way, freeing up the door. Next, we're gonna remove the old fasteners. They're no longer needed, so we can install the new door hardware that will be now holding up the door. After we get this done, we'll be installing the hangers in the old track. The next step is to remove that channel. This part of the job might be impossible for you because you'll have to cut the drywall to get access to it. I haven't put mine up, so I have easy of access. As you can see, I actually upgraded mine to the bearings. I actually thought they were uh, nylon only, which would be this here. And they do settle like that. Kind of happy about that. Anyways, now to install these, and they go in a certain way, make sure you read the instructions. Make sure that your hanger is engaged for the closing side, as per the instructions. You'll see me here actually check the instructions. It's both the closing and open side that have the hanger engaged so that when everything is up in place, it immediately will work. Otherwise, you'll have to bring it back down. So this was a hard sell, but I got it to work. As you can see there, it self-closes. It does not fit properly, but it will work with some playing around. Now until on the next one, which is over here. After you were able to massage it into place, for me, I had to open up the track itself and it worked. Now that we're hanging the door, this takes a little bit of effort. You have to be able to lift the door and then pop the hanger in. So our soft closed door is now installed. Everything's all straight. So if you open it up, it takes a little bit. So your pets can't just pop the door. Take it open. You'll see it goes to the end there. And then it'll, slowly, it'll click in. You have enough momentum. Obviously I didn't. And then you have to open it again by grabbing the door. And there you go. Nice soft close. Now if I do it fast, Soft close, soft close, oh, that way nobody gets woken up when the door meets the wood. Now I can further adjust it so it doesn't actually touch the wood, and I may do that. That way it'll stop, for example, right about here, so you'll have that nice little air gap right there, that way there's no wood on the wood. And the back one has the rubber stop at the middle of the door, right about here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's there. And that's what else is going to impact at the same time. And that's that. Get a little closer. So that's how the mechanism looks from the outside. If we pull the door, we'll follow this along here. And I'll bring it back over to the end. There are the adjustment stops which you can choose and they are a little bit hard to get in there for this style this is actually a lowe's door not a home depot they're both really cheap though and you just unloosen this and bring this back to wherever you need it to be 
in the instructions it says one and a half. This is actually about two. And if I want to have these self-closing again, I just undo the screws and put the spacers back in so that the track at this point here is slanted downward. Actually, you know what? Let's install that right now. As you'll see, it is incredibly easy to make your door, your pocket door, self-closing and that matched with the uh, soft closing mechanism. Amazing. I'm not going to keep it that way, but it's amazing. So now we have the spacer installed and the door is in its closed position. So it's still self-closing. I'm sorry, it's still soft closing. Now if we bring it out, say we bring it there, the door itself is going to want to close. I'm just going to back up and it closes soft and it's self-closing after a certain point. Now you'll see there's a gap at the bottom. I did just re-fix the trim, make sure she's plumb straight square. So all you would have to do is tighten this one up to get rid of that gap and it's still self-closing beyond a certain point. That way you don't have to monitor it as you walk away and then when you enter the bathroom. So I decided to remove said spacers and that's easy. Those are the spacers that I used. So flat washers to adjust, that was the main one. And then how I did that, because the track itself is aluminum, I have a magnet on my keys and it doesn't stick to aluminum obviously, but it sticks to mild steel. And that's what the washers and spacers were. So that made it really easy to remove the self-closing mechanism for the door. So thanks for watching if you made it this far in the video. This is the tutorial on how to make your door self-closing and or removing that and continuing with just the uh, soft closing. And yes, I had to really think about both of those, soft closing and or self-closing. Anyways, please like, share, subscribe if you like what I do here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them all down below. And I'll get back to you soon again. Talk to you later. Peace.